Here you can see how the self-locking starting knot is tied using a medical model and suture materials. Pick up the two ends of the thread with a non-dominant hand and hold them parallel to one another. Hold the needle holder beneath the threads with a dominant hand so the needle holder points towards the wound edge. Wind the needle holder around both threads three times. The needle holder must be under the threads which means that the right-handed person must move it in a clockwise direction and the left-handed person in an anti-clockwise direction. Be careful not to pull the tissue excessively while winding the threads around the needle holder. If it feels like you are pulling too hard on the tissue, it may be because your short thread end should be longer. You can use the index finger that controls the needle holder to keep the threads close to the shaft. Pull the short end of the thread through the loops and tighten the knot by pulling evenly on both ends of the thread. Cut the short end about one centimeter from the knot. Slide the knot into place next to the wound edge with your index finger while pulling gently on the long thread. The knot is held into place by your continued suturing from this point and finishing the suture with a secure knot, for example, a self-locking finishing knot or square knot.